Brett Aggregates is one of the largest uh, independent suppliers of aggregate in the southeast of England. We have a fleet of our own HGV vehicles. We have 42 vehicles in total, of which nine of those are Arctic and trailer combinations. On top of that, we use external hauliers for any surplus tonnage. So the issue that was highlighted was the task of coupling and uncoupling the trailer. This isn't a task that happens very often. Most of the time, the tractor unit carries the same trailer and they stay on the back until there is a problem with either. So it's not a task that happens on a regular basis. So when it does happen, the driver has to get up onto the back of the vehicle and undo the couplings uh, on the trailer, which consist of air and electric couplings. We had an incident with one of our drivers where he actually got injured while he was undertaking this task. Uh, he hurt his lower back where he was bent over, coupling up the couplings where they were on the bottom of the chassis, and he hurt his lower back while he was doing that. We are swapping the trailers not that often, and some of, sometimes the Susies could get seized up, and you really have to apply the big pressure to the Suzy, obviously, and um, unfortunately that day it happened to me. So after any injury, we do a full investigation. So as soon as Sean was alerted by Arthur, Sean contacted us. Uh, we worked very closely with Transport Health and Safety Team. So um, Sean and I began to investigate exactly how the incident occurred. During that investigation, we looked at the task uh, that was being undertaken to see if we could make it safer. It was evident straight away from the investigation that the main issue was the driver bent over in an awkward position and trying to apply force when he's, when he's, when he's not in a good position. Also, you've got the issue of uh, he's on the catwalk and he could fall from height where he could topple forward because he's bent over. Following the investigation, I mean, we talked to the drivers, we talked how we could you know, possibly make it better. Um, we talked about more training, um, but really we wanted to, you know, if we follow true health and safety principles, what we really want to do is eliminate it, just get rid of it, don't try and control it, try and remove the hazard. So we, so we looked at where the couplings were on the trailer uh, and we came up with this idea of raising the height of the couplings by adding a frame uh, which is just bolted onto the trailer uh, that raises the height puts the driver in a much better position to put the couplings on. The feedback was excellent, uh, and we then decided to roll it out on our whole trailer fleet, and it will now be part of our trailer spec going forward on any new trailers we have coming onto the fleet. Uh, I was quite impressed, and to be honest, I was quite very happy, because every single driver now is going to have a new frame, and they're going to injure themselves as well. So that was spot on.